It's very hard being married to just yourself. You, you can get bored, and no, people have needs. So I thought, well, I will give myself an opportunity to cheat on myself on occasion. Hi, I'm Mel, and this is why I'm happy to cheat on my married self. I'd always said to my ex-boyfriend, I want to get married on the 1st of June, 18. And he said, well, that's, that's fine, darling, you can get married, but it won't be to me. So when he dumped me, I thought, I'm going to go ahead with this. People weren't expecting perfection, they were just expecting a really nice time, which is, which is kind of what happened. I had like a maid of honour and little bridesmaids, and I had a friend of mine, uh, Kate, who was my celebrant. I had been married twice before, and those, those were um, beautiful wedding, wedding days. When you marry yourself, it's only, it's, only the, it's only you putting the pressure on you. You haven't got to think about that other person who's involved, and are they going to get cold feet? Are they going to... Are they not going to turn up? As I walked back down the aisle, all I felt was just this overwhelming sense of love and joy, like a sort of group presence, just this, just this happiness with, with everybody. And it was just the most wonderful day, and everyone got on board, and I can honestly say it was probably one of the best days of my life aside from when my children were born. I like a challenge, and after about two weeks, I was a bit bored of myself. So that's when I applied to go on first date. I've been married three times. OK. That was about, about two and a half months after I married myself. So technically, I didn't cheat on myself until, wait, two and a half months. But hey, that's longer than some people in marriages do, isn't it? And now, if I want to do something, I can go ahead and do it without considering, always considering someone else and thinking, well, what are they going to think? Or, you know, now I can just say, I'll, I'll do that. I have met people over the last year and thought there could be mileage in it. But when I've realised that there's maybe an ex still on the scene or they're in, they're not as invested. I've just cut off completely. From the age of 16, I've, I've been constantly seeking happiness in someone else and validation from someone else, and I don't need that. I mean, everyone's got flaws, but unless it's equal and balanced, no, I've, I'm quite happy in my own skin being me. I don't think I'll ever divorce myself because I'm committed to myself now, and I need, even if I meet someone, I'm going to renew those, those vows and make sure that, because I don't want to lose myself in somebody else again. Everyone wants to love and be loved, but it does start with yourself. It's really important that, that people do have that love first so that they can form those healthy relationships, which I have lacked. And now I've got that with me, I can potentially find that with someone else in the future. Fingers crossed. <laughs>